on the road, in the air, on the water. Buckle up. Always wear a life jacket. Hey guys, we're here with Mark from Mustang Survival. He's going to walk us through, I was just kind of curious, how would you go about recommending the right life jacket for somebody to wear if you're a sales rep in a store or otherwise? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, Mustang Survival has been around since 1967 and okay. um, you know, our big thing is saving lives. That is what is most important to us and that's what the history and the core of our brand is. Okay. And so. Uh, there's a lot that comes with that, but you're going to see that our brand, there's so many things that we think safety-wise. Every piece of apparel has a kill switch attachment point in it um, for those red motor kill switches. Oh, okay. So we're a very safety-focused brand. And I think the most important thing is choosing a, a PFD or life jacket that is comfortable and that you'll wear all the time because if you're not wearing it, it's not going to do you any good. Right. And that's a big part of the conversation I have when I'm talking to customers okay. is I'm saying, hey, whether it's another brand or our brand or one of our different versions, the most important part is that it's going to be something that's comfortable that you'll wear all the time. Okay. Um, and so once I kind of make sure that they know that that's my main mission, um, from there, I start getting into, well, what do you do and start understanding their behaviors and how much, how into their sport they are. Okay. So I would say, you know, what is the kind of activity you're doing? Because um, Mustang is very diverse in what we cover. We cover uh, very simple kids paddling on a kayak yep. all the way to people crossing the Atlantic Ocean in storm survival gear. Okay. Um, so we got a wide breadth, but let's try to focus in there so on what say, you like to do. Let's say I'm a paddleboarder. Okay. So well, oftentimes, even within paddling, you'll have difference between canoeing, kayaking, and stand-up paddleboarding. So right. okay, stand-up paddleboarding. We're going to be talking about a manual PFD, so one that would only go off. Um, well, if we're talking inflatables, um, an inflatable, I'd want you in one that is a manual only. And the reason being is I don't want you in one that's going to automatically go off. Okay. Because let's say there is that automatic piece here, and you're wearing it, and you're at your kayak, you're stand-up paddleboard, and you lean over, and it dips into the water. Yeah. Shoot, it's gone off, and your okay. day's kind of a bust. Okay. So we're going to be only thinking about manuals. So now we've gone to that side, um, or standard full uh, inherent foam foam life jackets. Okay. So we're going down to sort of this world inflatables. Um, how good of a swimmer are you? How comfortable are you in the water? Very strong. Okay, that's a key part for me. If someone says, oh, I'm a weak swimmer, I'm not putting them in an inflatable. Okay. If someone's falling over and they're struggling, you know, they're trying to think about how do I stay afloat right now, the last thing I want them is, where's that yellow cord for that thing I have to pull? So, all right, if you're not a good swimmer, we're going foam. You said you're a good swimmer, okay. Yeah. Um, where do you live and uh, what are the temperatures and how often are you, are you paddle year round? Are you more summer? Uh, I paddle mostly in the summer. It's sunny, warm, however, we do have cold water. Okay, cold water, great. Um, are you mostly wearing a lot of apparel when you're going? Or are you normally just... I like to get a suntan. Okay, you like to get a suntan. You know, for suntan, a lot of people, I'm thinking you're going to want to wear something minimal. Okay. So we need to be talking about like our little minimalist belt pack that I have right here. Okay. Incredibly small, minimal. You're a comfortable swimmer, yep. um, which probably means that if you needed this, you need it. Yeah. Um, where some people say, oh, I'm in the water and I need some buoyancy assistance. And so they might want something that happens a little bit naturally. But these two life jackets um, actually are going to give you the same amount of buoyancy, 15.7, 16 okay. pounds of buoyancy. Yep. But this one is going to, when it inflates, the sides open up. You're going to have that high reflective piece on there, a okay. zipper. Um, and that's going to give you a full around the neck support. Yeah. But you said And when you're, that's inflated, does it stay inflated? Yeah, so um, we basically recommend uh, our life jackets all basically have to lose less than 5% of air over 24 hours. Okay. Um, even then, sometimes you'll get in cooler water and the air will condense, and so that's why there's always an oral tube, is okay. to be able to add more Top air or to release the air out. You do that through the oral tube. Okay. Um, so, so I'm that now- that could work? That could work, but I'm hearing you talk about tan lines. You Good know? point, I forgot so about that. So maybe you don't want that, <laughs> and depending on how active you are, some people, maybe they don't want something on their neck, that movement. So that we're really starting to hammer down into our belt pack area. Okay. I have three different types of belt packs. Um, I'm wearing the minimalist right now. We have one that has a few more pockets and other pieces. So are you bringing a lot of things with you? Or are you, you know, hey, I'm just bringing my keys. I'm going for a quick paddle. Or do you need to bring a lot of gear with you? You thinking snacks, just a nutrition? Bar. Okay. Maybe yeah. So some water. I don't have a pocket on this one, but okay. um, if you had shorts that have pocket, your granola bar right. would be there. Or maybe I'd take you. 
um, to our essentialist, and that has a pocket or two, so okay. you can put some stuff in it. So I'm thinking about what Very you need, cool. what you need to bring. Um, and that'd probably be the best piece for you. I love it. Yeah. That was a really um, understandable, comprehensive way to explain what life jacket to go in. And in the end, will I wear that? Yes. So. Yeah. And uh, we put a super comfortable, soft fabric on the inside. So if you're not wearing shorts against your skin, that's going to be really comfortable. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's how I'd typically walk someone through and get them to the life jacket that I think is going to be something that they're going to wear all the time um, yeah. that they don't even think about. It's not a big hassle to wear. Love it. Yeah. Thanks so much, Mark. Absolutely.